All right, what's up with y'all folks? It's time to officially go and get the truck. I drive it off the lot today. Finally got all the paperwork finished and squared away. Somebody commented on my last video and told me that they wanted my videos to be longer. And somebody commented on the video before that and said the same thing. So I'm about to put the GoPro on and we just gonna go crazy. I'm gonna show y'all the whole day today from picking up the truck to picking up the TV mouse to putting in the LED lights and unloading and loading. You know what I'm saying? The whole night. We're gonna get into it. Let's get it. You head towards the truck. I'll show you there. Cancel? Yeah. You want to shut that door for me? Yeah, I got you. Oh. I got it. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. You're going to be the one to take me back or no? Oh. Yeah, so you just done with the program? All right, y'all, so we're about to go pick up the truck. I know I gotta go through locks and get um, all my um, permits and all that type of stuff. Not the big, skew, skew. But the bicycle chains get a good one. And that'll take a good turn. You know, they'll leave yours alone and take some. Can I um, see about how much is the upgraded mattress, the bottom bunk on the peak? And I'm allowed to charge it to the truck, right? I'll just have to ask you quick answer. Okay. What's your truck number? Uh, brand new truck. Sorry, hold on. Got 741. And what's your name? Dexter. And this is all you're going to be getting? For now, yeah. Okay. I'll probably have to come back in here. It would, yeah, we don't get fridges and all that here, right? Uh, we have the truck fridges, yeah. You're welcome. I gotta go do some research, but I know for sure the bed. Okay, we Should that. we wait on him or? I just have to call him. Okay, yeah, um, let's do that. You wanna then. see about doing payments? Yeah, putting okay. it on the truck. Can you do payments? Okay, perfect, thank you. like you have a few service failures. Do you wanna, is 100 a week okay? And you can talk yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's just saying an Are you ready to get it now? But if you um, can I can I try and see about moving my truck first? Yeah, just come back before five o'clock. Okay. Oh. All right, y'all. Let's go check on the peak. I'm gonna be a hundred percent transparent with y'all. I told y'all that's what I'm gonna make this channel about. But five fifty two on the mattress, right? Truck payment high. Plus I paid the labor of getting my um side box transfer what else i'm gonna have to buy a fridge i don't know if i'm gonna buy the fridge from them or if i'm gonna go get a different one but i'm worried about that i'm gonna take care of it i'm gonna stay on the road and make sure i get it taken care of it just the fact that i ain't had to deal with it yet like got me nervous all right y'all as you see i got my personal conveyance turned back on that's good it didn't take nearly as long as it did last time i remember last time i needed that it took forever it took like hours bro no cap but about to roll over to get my permits from locks and yeah we also about to see what this road talking about because it feel like it's about to be horrible it looked like it's about to be horrible i should say but i'm hoping for the best yeah i don't know how i feel about that it's a little rough y'all it ain't that bad at least not this part y'all know i ain't seen nothing yet i ain't got on the road for real yet but this part not too bad. Every time you get a new truck, y'all, hold on. Every time you get a new truck, you gotta get new, unless it's a loaner. Sometimes the loaners already have them in there, but you be needing new permits and stuff like that. You need permits and um, trip sheets and things like that. And you always gotta uh, go and get those. Uh, my partner Quan reminded me before he left, reminded me, don't forget to go to logs over there by where you go to um the driver lineup and get your permits because you got to keep them on the truck so 
Shout out to bro for that. I'm about to go and grab my permits right now. I ain't know which park I wanted, y'all. All right, let's go. Woo! It is so cold. Look how she look all iced up, y'all. <laughs> all icy. Look at that. I ain't gonna say it can't get worse, but it's definitely here. Whew. It's cold enough for me. I wouldn't mind if it never got any colder than this. Let's go in here. <laughs> That's not yours, is it? That's not your cup, is it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, I need my permits for 741. Is this all I need from you? Yep. That's it? Okay, thank you. Whew. All right, that was quick and easy. Painless. We got it. We got the goods, y'all. Look at this. Hey, winter time is here, bro. But we got all our permits. About to put them in the truck and um, head to Walmart. Get all the necessary things that I need to be comfortable for the next couple months. Um, also, I need to see about getting a refrigerator. They gave me the dimensions. So I just need to go in there and kind of see. Uh, I don't know. I guess if the store has a better option than what uh, our prime store would have. It's cold, y'all. All right, y'all. So for one, my GoPro died. But I just bought some replacement um, batteries. For two... Um, I'm about to just go and buy this stuff that I got in my car now and start putting it in the truck because I want to make sure everything's going to work so that I can return it like ASAP. And I don't want to fill my car up with a whole bunch of stuff and just be consumed with so much stuff that I don't, you know what I'm saying, feel like going through the trial and error associated with a low. But yeah, I'm going to grab this stuff. I got the microwave, the hot skillet, um, little... Thing that I told y'all I'm gonna try to put a little weekly agenda on my air fryer and yeah we're gonna put that in there and I need to get some measurements um so I'm gonna go and try my best to get some measurements too so I can see about maybe a mount TV mount and all that sort of stuff just so I'm not in here wasting my time but yeah I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I get to the truck all right y'all I ain't gonna lie it's been a minute but my GoPro is dead so it's making everything harder to clean up but this how we looking um hold on so I got the air fryer right here. This comes out real easy and real smooth. I like that a lot. And then it won't go too far back because the knob at the top, the temperature all the way to the left is lowest temperature. Then you twist it all the way to the right. You get the highest temperature. This is the time on it and all that. I like that a lot. Microwave cool. You know what I'm saying? All of that's good. Um, up under here, I put that hot plate. Y'all can see that. You probably can't see it, but my hot plate's right here. So that in case I want to cook, um, like fry something up or something like that, that's cool. I got my Wi-Fi routed outside out that window because it said the, the connection was excellent and that runs along the back side of that. I like all of that. It looks really nice. If you're wondering, can my bed still come down with the microwave being right there? It can. Everything works out really nice. Um, yeah, I might put some Velcro strips under there because that's my first time testing it since I put these. Uh, this is cardboard, y'all. But since I put this up under there to kind of even it out where it sits square, that was my first time testing it. And I see that it kind of rubs against it. It ain't messing nothing up, but I just don't want it to do any of that. Um, I don't know what fridge I'm supposed to put in here. I don't want to just buy the company fridge because from what I've heard, them be like bad fridges. They don't be having warranties and they're just like lower quality than what you could get if you just go to like a home depot or something so i don't know i'm gonna do some more research before i just buy anything but got an extension cord here that connects my wi-fi uh my microwave and my air fryer um i wouldn't never run all those at the same time so we shouldn't have a problem let me just see if i was to run this did my inverter get mad at me yeah so if it can handle the microwave the air fryer uses less wattage than the microwave according to the box so 
and that's with the Wi-Fi still going. So we should be all good with that. Um, I need a car, a car charger, a phone mount, a rug so that I could do my my thing like I like to do with the rug um, and protect this carpet under there because I want to keep that nice just so that I could keep the option to use it. Um, yeah, I need a few other things, some LED stuff and all that. But I'm going to take y'all along with me and try to keep y'all updated. Uh, it's coming together real smooth though. I'm enjoying it so far. This like the best part before I get on the road. And then, um, yeah, hopefully today, before the end of the day, I could go in there, talk to driver lineup, and see about getting put under a load, my first load in the new 2024 Peterbilt, the big boy, yeah. That's what we call in this truck. I think that's going to be the name, y'all, because it just came natural to me literally just now. And in my reel, if y'all follow me on IG, you already seen it. But I keep calling this truck big boy. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call this big boy. That's kind of lame. Do that sound kind of corny, like big boy? Like we gonna go hop in big boy and see what's nah that's cool big boy cool we calling this truck big boy y'all if y'all got a better name drop it down below but for now that's gonna be the truck name um i got all this trash to deal with it's some tools and stuff i gotta buy so that i could do what i gotta do and yeah man i'm enjoying it i hope y'all enjoying it too we gonna keep it cracking all right y'all we about to um pc over to where my freezer's at it's at the detail shop um, I hate when the quad when the Qualcomm turn off because it takes forever to come back on. But <clears throat> all right, y'all. We just pulled up to the detail shop. About to go in there and see about uh, getting my freezer. I'm hoping for the best, but I already told y'all I'm expecting the worst just because I don't remember cleaning that thing out. I don't know what be wrong with me or where my head be at, but yeah, about to get out here and grab my gloves. Oh. Dang, it's locked. Is it uh Oh, they got lock number three on there. Well, that makes sense. That's annoying. I know you always want to know. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, y'all, so I just finished cleaning out the cooler. It don't stink no more. Got all the food out of there. I am disgusted with myself and disappointed, but I told y'all I was gonna show y'all the good and the bad, and that was some of the bad. But anyway, this is where I'm thinking about putting it. I want it up here. So I'm about to um, get my tape measure real quick and measure this and make sure it's gonna fit. Because it, it, it charges, I mean, not charges, but it works with an uh, electrical outlet. I don't know if y'all can see this. So this would be a good place for it to go. About 38 inches. 
the closer it is to 38 inches or longer the better because I want those bends to be in there a little tighter and more secure than they are so that would be nice but we shall see we shall see that's definitely not 38 inches uh, maybe about 24 inches so that leave me what 14 inches to spare so I gotta find something else that'll go in there to make it all tight right and tight how I want it <clears throat> I know that look wet and dirty y'all, but it's not from my, um, from it being nasty. It's from, I just put it on my tire just then to clean up. The guy needed his, uh, he needed the dumpster back that I was working next to. Oh. Whew. All right. So that'll go in there like that. I actually don't know if I like that. We might put it upright, actually. I think I changed my mind. Anyways, though, when I leave up out of here, I need to remember to get some of that defroster stuff. That stuff that they have you put in your, um, your tank or whatever. Not defroster, but y'all know what I'm talking about. That stuff that make your tank not get full of uh get frozen or whatever so hopefully i can get that cooler situated but that's where my food and stuff gonna be so i need the cooler but golly i cannot deal with it stinking that's horrible i opened the window up there by it and um i sprayed a bunch of lysol so i'm hoping for the best but my fear is y'all know them people that they house stink and they don't know they don't know they house stink i do not want my junk like that bro i do not want it to just stink and I can't tell. So somebody get in here and be like, Dex, it's stinking there. But anyway, I finished my pre-trip. Dispatch gave me the green light to go ahead and um, deadhead to my 01. Uh, empty, without a trailer, I mean. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. What is this? Oak cutter. Oh, I need this to be able to write this off. I meant to get like a little folder for my um a little folder for my uh what am I talking about? My receipts and stuff. But I did not. I forgot to. Um I'm waiting on my navigation thing to get started. Once that gets started, I should be set to go ahead and head out. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not. I got my lock for the trailer. I got my mallet and stuff so I could pre-trip. Um I don't have any bills or anything yet uh i don't use trip sheets what else do i need yeah i should be good i should just be going to pick up an empty and then getting on down the road i'm waiting on that thing to say yep 759 hey we official now my very first load as a solo prime lease driver let's get it Let's get it, a new journey, y'all. I'm working two jobs non-stop this year. I'm gonna try to work two jobs as much as I can, bro. Occasionally, obviously, I'm gonna take off here and there, but for the most part, I'll be a full-time YouTuber. And let's see if this guy let me pass him. For the most part, I'll be a full-time YouTuber. That, I'm working non-stop for real. <laughs> and then, um, I also, I drive OTR, so y'all know that take up your whole life, so. All right, I'm supposed to go check in at the guard shack. We're going to go see what's up. My GoPro dying. It's always dying, but it's dying, of course. So I got to be quick with this. Get y'all this footage real quick. Okay, we locked into the uh, kingpin. Set a 
134, got 35 degrees. Uh, my fuel is at three quarters. He told me to make sure I bring this back for him. I don't know what this is for, but I guess they got a little tracker, some kind of tracker. My tandems is all the way in the back, so I know my weight gonna be off. Seeing, uh, my gauges say that I'm a little less than 34 on my tractor, so I know I'm gonna need to slide my tandems back. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so that whenever I get up there with them, I could just get on the road. So let's go ahead and do that. A trick I learned y'all over the course of this time that I've been driving is um, you do yourself a favor if you drive with the trailer for a little while before you just um, be trying to pull your lever. Really do anything that you need air for. You wanna give it time for your trailer to get air in it too. So I'm about to pull off. Drove a little bit, let my trailer get some air in it. Slide my tandems. Uh. Woo! I miss being at work, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It's a good feeling. I took just enough time off. See, I wait on my pins to go back. I was reading about 34 on my tractor, so. I imagine I got a good little bit of wiggle room. I'm gonna try to get, first I'm gonna try it all the way back. If I could get it with my tandems all the way forward, which is preferred, then that's my way. That's how I prefer to drive. But instead of going out there and pulling it again, I'm gonna teach you our trick. So you push your trailer in, pull it back out. When you put it back in drive, it'll lock in. Y'all heard it. So now we're gonna go check my weight. In my tractor, I'm reading about 28,000. I'm hoping my trailer not over now. But we shall see. Yeah, that's gonna be over. It's moving too fast. Oh no, we got lucky. It's gonna be about 32,000. It's slowing down already. 30,000, yeah, we good. All right, so this is not a super heavy load. So I should be able to make it all the way to the gas station in KC, no problem. He wanted me to fill this out. Uh, before I came back to him. Yes, it's operating normally. We got it set to 34. All right, y'all, my seal number is 1103. Gotta put my departure date. I don't even know what day it is. All right, so we gonna go 124. pretty she looks my first load I try to take my head mount off I try to take my head mount off when I go into these um shippers and receivers or so far just shippers just because I don't want the people to feel weird like they you know what I'm saying I just don't want no problem for anybody to get in my way with this content stuff so I try to make it myself as easy to deal with as I can 
I don't want to give him no reason to say nothing to me. But yeah, she look good, y'all. Definitely look good.